Simply Cola here and today we're going to be doing a showdown of dry shampoo. <laughs> Super exciting, I know. But here they are, the showdown contestants. And before we get started, definitely check out my review just of my Baptiste shampoo. I did a review of this separately. And don't forget to check out my social media links and the description box for my blog. And subscribe, that'd be great. Okay, awesome. So first we have this one. It is my fave. As I mentioned before, I have a review on this separately. I love Batiste dry shampoo. It is so amazing. It works so amazing. You can use this on your hair and you don't have to take a shower for like ever. And by take a shower, I just mean wash your hair. You should still take a shower, but you don't have to wash your hair, which is so nice because if you have thick hair like myself, it takes forever to dry. Thus the bun and yeah so love it so I don't have to wash my hair every day and it smells great it leaves my like a perfumey sort of fragrance and I love the smell so the next one that I tried recently is the not your mother's dry shampoo and this one's okay it's it's good like I don't I like it as a dry shampoo like this works a thousand times better like at making my hair not look greasy and kind of making it feel like soft and like I did wash it this doesn't really do that because it has like a texturizing because it says texturized shampoo. It doesn't make my hair feel like I haven't really washed it, but it does have a cool texture to it. Like it has like that cool spray that like can make your hair just look kind of volumized and fun, which for me, I don't necessarily need like extra volume except on the top of my head. So when I straighten my hair, this is really what I use this for. When I straighten my hair, it goes like this, flat, 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 poof, 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 like that. So that looks ridiculous, okay? It looks ridiculous. So what I use this for is I will straighten my hair, it looks crazy, and then I will add this texturizer spray to like the top of my hair and kind of just like scrunch it up and stuff, and it makes it look like just have regular vol voluminous, voluminous, voluminous hair. <laughs> It's like I was gonna say it wrong and then I said it right and then I was like, well, why was I gonna say it wrong? So then I corrected myself after I'd already said it correctly. Just, I like it for that. So actually I kind of do like it as a texturizing spray and it does work the first day you don't wash your hair. So if you have like really, really greasy hair, I don't think this is worth, would work for you. I would say I probably have like a moderate amount of grease to my hair. So I can go like three or four days without showering okay i can go one day without showering without looking ridiculous and then with this i can go like three or four like washing my hair wise and then for this it's really after the second day you have to wash your hair so it doesn't last as long the good thing it doesn't leave like a res like a white cast like this does leave a white cast on your hair but if you brush it out enough you won't see it but this doesn't leave that at all so i guess that's a plus so if you don't have like super greasy hair this would probably work for you so that's just my really quick, super quick, very quick review of these two. And I have to say, I like this one still best for dry shampoo. This one is great for texturizing though. So that's pretty much it. I do hope to see you guys next time on my channel in my next video. So please go ahead and subscribe. That would be so awesome. And I will go ahead and see you guys next time.